Hello, and welcome back to Educator.com's Introduction to PHP course. In today's lesson, we'll be providing an official introduction into using functions. Uh, specifically, we'll be going over what functions are. Um, we'll be talking about several different facets of uh, using functions, such as function calls, return values, and function chaining. Uh, we're also going to explore a reference on php.net, which is a, um, a function reference that provides documentation for all the built-in functions to PHP. And then um, part of that is we're going to go over op optional uh, function arguments, which we'll learn about as we go through. And then we're going to cover um, some common functions for, for three different, um, uh, in three different groups, string functions, array functions, and then date and time functions. So I said this, uh, you know, the title of this course or this lesson is an official introduction to functions. And the reason I said that is because we've actually been using functions already. Um, we were first introduced with the PHP info function that outputs all of the information about a PHP configuration. We've also used other functions like the var dump function um, that outputs the type and value information of a variable. So we actually have used them before. Now we're just going to officially talk about what a function is. Um, Basically, a, a function is a uh, group of statements that can sort of be e executed on demand. And um, it's essentially a section of code um, that usually performs a specific task. For example, um, getting the length of a string. And this is a task you might perform over and over again. So you set it aside in a block of code, and then you name it. And then um, what you can do is you make what's known as a um, function call which is uh, a way to invoke that section of code and perform the function that you need. Um, basically what happens is when PHP uh, reaches, is processing a script and it reaches a function call, it stops execution of the current script, um, goes to where the function is defined, runs the function code, and then returns back to uh, the original PHP script after performing the function. Now, as mentioned, um, PHP has a built-in library of functions that um, provide uh, commonly needed tasks, such as working with strings, working with arrays, and working with dates and times, which are all things we're going to learn about in this lesson. Um, there are also many extensions that are built into PHP, um, and uh, the, uh, such as a MySQL extension for using uh, the database. Um, and so those are uh, built in as well. So how do function calls look, and in particular, like how do, how do you make a function call? Um, well, we've used them before it with PHP info and, and var dump, and essentially uh, a function call which requests the execution of the code defined in the function um, is simply the name of the function and then a pair of opening and closing parentheses. Um, in this case, the time function is a built-in PHP function, and it gets a, a uh, current timestamp of the time date and time right at the moment. Um, so that's an example of a function with what's called no arguments. Um, there are also functions that are, and a lot of functions, most functions accept arguments. Um, and basically what arguments are is um, expressions provided in between the parentheses of a function. And basically it's a way to pass um, data and information into the function so that it can uh, work on it. For example, here we have a, a built-in PHP function called stringlen. And basically what this function does uh, is it returns the length of a string that you pass in as a function argument. In this case, our function argument is the string ABC. And so what's, what happens is when this, um, when this line of code right here is, is run, um, when PHP gets to the string lang um, function call, it stops execution, goes out to the string lang function code, um, uses this value right here that was input as a function argument to the function and returns the length of that string. And that's the particular function of the string length function. Um, so in this case, it would return the value of 3. And one thing to note is that um, functions expect uh, their argument values to be of a certain type. Um, in this case, for example, the string length, obviously, uh, you pass in a string. And one thing to note is that uh, if you pass um, functions arguments, if you pass a function arguments that aren't of the correct type, uh, the uh, return value, which we'll learn about in a minute, of a function is undefined, which basically is, is stating um, that uh, the way the function will work is unknown. Another thing to also mention is that um, sometimes refer arguments or function arguments referred to as parameters. Uh, 